The Irving Symphony Orchestra continues their 60th anniversary season with jazz violinist Scott Tixier in concert. Maestro Hector Guzman and Scott Tixier join us via Zoom with more information about the concert. Thank you so much for being with me today. Thank, Thank you. you. So Hector, I want to start with you. Um, as you know, the Irving Symphony is one of my favorite ways to spend uh, a Saturday evening. So let me ask you what's in store for this next concert coming up. Well, something very unusual. We have not one, but two new works. The first one by the SMU IS, ISO Composers in Residence. And then our soloist, Scott Tixier, is going to perform a piece that he composed himself. So he's going to be both soloist and composer. And then on the second half, we finish with Brahms Symphony Number no. 1. So we have a little bit of everything for everyone. Yes, you do. And people will be so excited to get an opportunity to have two new things and something that is venerated to, uh, to listen to as well. So Scott, I, I have a question for you. I'd love to know a little bit about how your background influenced this piece that you are going to perform for the Irving Symphony. You've got such a varied background in terms of musical genres. So the, the piece that I wrote is a, is a tribute to one's uh, journey into a new country, a new world, um, uh, so, somewhere where um, one's never been. So as an immigrant, I, I moved to America when I was 19 years old without uh, speaking any English. And I had to, to struggle and find my way, my path. So it was very uncomfortable, very full of surprises and, and struggle and and cool and very ups and downs and so the piece is really about this journey in free movement um, uh, recollecting a little bit of my my journey as a as a musician in a foreign country country or continent for me well, uh, when, when we take a look at your resume, you can see that you overcame all of those challenges because you, you have, you've really had a wonderful career, and I think that that's, uh, that's something to talk about. So, um, Hector, let me ask you, I know that the, uh, the orchestra has a lot of experience with uh, playing the, the masterpieces. How excited are they to take on the challenge of a new work like the ones that you mentioned? Well, it's always refreshing for an orchestra musician to play new new pieces, but when it's uh, you're you're joined by somebody that not only is the composer but also the soloist, so that adds a lot more interest. So the orchestra is very excited and always look. I am always looking forward to new things, something to make the orchestra different, better, and uh, especially with uh, somebody like Scott, where. <laughs> We're so excited, we can't wait. Well, I'm excited too, and that's the thing, when, when, when you can tell that the orchestra and the performers are in it, <laughs> it just, it does so much for the audience in, in response. So folks, be sure to check out The Artistry of Jazz with violinist Scott Tixier. The concert is on Saturday, February 11th at 7.30 p.m. in Carpenter Hall. Call 972-252-ARTS for tickets.